Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Isabel Rosales. We will get to that big announcement on Amelie Arena not allowing fans for the games and the repercussions in just a few minutes. But first at six, the Department of Justice is cracking down and filing charges as they identify more people involved in Wednesday's violence on the Capitol. Tonight, this Manatee County man is behind bars. His name is Adam Johnson. And you at four, U.S. Marshals say they've got a case against him for the role that he played in those riots. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton spoke with a man who says he helped the FBI track down Johnson. A lot of us watched all this play out. Thousands of Trump supporters stormed their way into the U.S. Capitol building, attacking police officers, threatening senators, posing for pictures, and posting them on social media. And this picture here went viral. And according to the Justice Department, dozens of people called in saying they know exactly who this is. His name is Adam Johnson, and he lives in Parrish. I spoke to one of the people who says he reported him. It was that smug expression on his face. It infuriated me. I spoke to the man over the phone, and we're not giving his name for his safety. He's a local photographer, and he says he's photographed Johnson at local Trump rallies. I wasn't surprised to see somebody from the local area going to D.C. and, and being involved in that. What shocked me was what had, had occurred, the, the fact that it had gone so far as for them to actually... Um, break into the Capitol and do the kind of destruction, the kind of vandalism, the kind of looting that they were doing. The five people died, including a cop, and that's why this man says he called the police. I felt that it was necessary to provide what information I could. U.S. Marshals arrested Johnson Friday. A local defense attorney tells me he believes these riots will lead to some big changes. It's one thing to protest uh, and express your, your opinion. It's another thing to be breaking down the doors to the U.S. Capitol. I anticipate that there will be some new laws uh, as a result of what happened. In Tampa, J.J. Burton, ABC Action News. Oh,